Okay, good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, June 30, 2021. This is a data protection working group meeting. Uh, we don't have a lot of topics today. Uh, mainly, we have some leftover items from last meeting, talking about worm snapshot. And she and I feel uh, maybe we can utilize this chance opportunity to kind of, you know, uh, explain a little bit what are the difference between the discussed local and the remote snapshots in the current CSI implementation? And uh, another pot potential possibility we'll discuss in last meeting is to introduce a, a first party field that allows CSI providers to upload the snapshots to, uh, to some remote backup repository uh, Shin and I made, uh, had some discussion over that. Uh, we will share with the group uh, what we were thinking. And the next major item is uh, we feel the we have a lot of good materials on the white paper for with regarding data protection in Kubernetes context. Uh, there are still a couple of sections needs a little bit more updates or editing. But I think in general, uh, it's in a fairly good shape. Uh, this has been a very long and long process and a lot of effort. Thank you everyone who have worked on this. Uh, Jin and I plan to take a pass on the existing white paper uh, write-ups and uh, we, the goal is to with what whatever materials we have as of the day to publish a first version. Uh, the, we are planning to do that by July end. And then uh, after this agenda, we were going to open the discussion. Uh, if, if there's any open issues anyone wants to discuss. Uh, Shin, do you mind sharing the uh, slides? Yeah, sure. Uh, can you stop sharing first? All right. You got it. Okay, so th this is just uh, some uh, follow up questions from the previous meeting. Uh, I think when Tom was presenting uh, the options for some cloud uh, services back up and then I think those questions came up. So uh, we we're just uh, following up with those. The first one came up is uh, this difference between different snapshot semantics that are supported by different uh, storage vendors. Uh, so I just want to make sure everybody is clear with this. Um, so there are two types of uh, uh, snapshot in semantics. The first one is a local snapshot, meaning when you create a snapshot, the snapshot will be placed on the same storage system as your primary volume. Uh, so this is the, the first one called local snapshot. And then the second one, uh, we call it either remote or durable snapshot. I mean, that's just a name, but what that means is after snapshot is cut, it will also be uploaded to a remote location could be an object store in the cloud. Um, so storage systems supports either local or remote snapshot today. And because of this differences in the CSS spec, we actually have this uh, uh, ready to use field to indicate whether this snapshot is ready to use. So if you, you are a storage system only take a local snapshot, then normally after the snapshot is cut, it's immediately ready to use. So you said that flag to true, uh, but if uh, this needs to be uploaded, then uh, normally after you uh, create the snapshot, you set that flag to force, waiting for the upload to complete. And then after the upload is complete, then you set that ready to use flag to true. Then you can use that snapshot. Uh, so, you know, there are pros and cons of each, but this is just, you know, different semantics. Um, both are supported. Um, the durable snapshot as a name suggested. So it's actually, this actually becomes a, a backup now because this is actually um, uploaded somewhere. 
Uh, so that's the difference. I just want to make sure because there are some questions from previous meeting. Um, are there any questions? If not, we can just move to the next. All right, so it seems to be clear. Um, I, so another thing is uh, this also came up in the previous meeting. Um, I think there was uh, some suggestions in previous meeting that maybe we could have a, a parameter in to indicate that the snapshot is uh, local or remote. You know, somehow um, kind of uh, specify something so that we know whether this snapshot can be uploaded somewhere. Um, so I think Chen Chen and I talked about that. We were thinking, should that be a first class field? Because in last meeting, I thought <laughs> there seems to be a lot of interest in the last uh, meeting. But after we talked about it, it's this is a, just a, it's actually very complicated because um, I think different drivers or different source systems handle this differently. Um, it's actually pretty hard to come up with a first class field type of design that meet all the requirements, whereas the backup repository could be, it could be an object store, it, could, it can be NFS, could be something else. Um, so, so after talking about that, we thought it's still better just to, just to keep this under the, the parameters, which is, uh, which is still a quick field. So vendor can, can specify that. I think, I believe some CSA drivers already do that. Um, so this way, you know, uh, the CSA driver can have the freedom of uh, choose whatever it wants to do. Um, so this could be, I mean, this really depends on uh, CSI driver, what it wants to do, right? So this I was, I just, this is just came to mind. I didn't really think through about this. I was just thinking how to um, connect this with this uh, cozy design. So I was thinking maybe it's possible we can specify a bucket access request and then somehow connect this back up. So specifying this, uh, saying this will be uh, we'll be using a cozy bucket uh, as a well, as the backup repository. So this is uh, some possibility here. Uh, I just want to pause here and see. So, Shen, um, so this yeah. expects the CSI driver to be the one moving the data to. Uh, I think if we do, yeah, if we do it in this way, then it's going to be the CSI driver because this will be, this will be in. This will be in here, right? It's in the volume snapshot class. Uh, but but the backup event, I was wondering, okay, so if let's say if a backup event want to use this, does that work? No, so yeah, I was just uh, going to ask that. So if the backup okay. vendor wants to write this snapshot to another secondary storage. Um, okay, yeah. Can you use uh -huh. this? Uh, we can think about it. Can you use this field as well? Um, it's then, actually possible. I think it's just, it depends, but then, but then I think uh, the tricky thing, of course, since this is opaque, right? I think depend then that depends on the driver, right? So we don't really have a, it's not a first class field. Um, so you have to know how the driver behaves, I guess. That's my, that's my question, I think, right? So um, this is, if it's a first class field, then of course you can probably depend on that thing. Then everybody uh, will be using the, the the field the same way, but this is a is this is a on the parameter, so it's an opaque field. So it's a driver can decide what to do with it. Um, so if uh, let's say when the backup, let's say if a backup software wanted to use this, right? So because the backup driver will also a backup vendor will also be taking a snapshot. Uh, let's say if you specify this a special parameter in there. Um, you can actually, you can probably use that, right? Can you, yeah, you can actually, you, you, so if if the backup software is the one who is uh, uh, creating the snapshot, so you know what is in the snapshot class, no. right? I mean, um, uh, so in that case, uh, I mean, this doesn't help in any way. Uh, so the backup uh, driver, I mean, the backup, 
I mean, the software already knows that a backup repository. Um, right, I don't need that. Empty, yeah, yeah. So. I think this just came out. I wonder if uh, is, is Ben here today? Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm a little late, Shing, but I'm here now. Uh, okay, because I, I remember you were here when we were talking about this uh, in the last meeting. Uh, so that's probably, maybe that is for a driver's point of view, because I think you mentioned that you are doing that in your driver, maybe? Uh, um, is that I mean, the case, or is that just... Uh, some uh no I, any driver can in principle do whatever it wants with right. snapshots right the, the only contract that that both csi and kubernetes provide is that we're going to give you a handle to something that you can create new volumes from um and whether that's going to be fast or how that's going to work is is undefined so it, the the driver if it wants to use an object store it can if it wants to use a local snapshot it can if it wants to do both it can if it wants to do something amazingly sophisticated it can as long as it can meet the contract that the handle that we give back can be used to create new volumes that's the only guarantee that kubernetes provides which, which is nice because it makes it very easy for lots of different snapshot implementations to be compliant but um but it's it's not nice if, if you want a specific behavior out of the snapshots um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, well, we, we have at least one prototype that if you take a snapshot, your volume gets shoved into an object store. Um, and so that is through the, through the bonus snapshot class, right? I assume that's probably the place where you can yeah. actually. Yeah. Okay. But what type of information do you put it? It's like the, like the bucket name or something, or what type of information? Are I you... assume that it's secret as well. Secret. Uh -huh. I'm sorry? Bucket information. Secret. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you could use information that was part of the the snapshot class. You could use information that was part of the snapshot. You could use something proprietary. I mean, again, it the sky is yeah, the it's limit all different. Here. Yeah, that's I think that's the tricky part. That's what I was when and I were talking about this. It's like it, it's like impossible to come up with something common uh, because we. I, so um, it's impossible to 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 because the the contract for snapshots is so loose yeah you, you, i don't think we can ever take snapshots themselves and make them better but you could create something new that was snapshot like that had a, a tighter contract um and said and then you know, have a special kind of snapshot that has these specific requirements <laughs> uh ben, are you saying the contract how, how what do you mean exactly by tightening the contract are i mean Okay. The, the, the existing CSI spec only has only says two things about snapshots. It says you can create well, not not counting like listing and deleting, um, but you, you can create them from volumes and you can create volumes from them, and everything else is left un, undefined, right? You, you also have to be able to list them and delete them, but those are kind of not relevant. Like people have asked, like, well, I'd like to be able to revert a volume back to a snapshot. No, oh, that's a different that. API. That's not, I mean, yeah, oh, right, right. I, that's just left like, to that. I mean, that's something that we can support, right? That's actually, we but, actually have that uh, well, somewhere. People have asked for it, but like the, the, the yeah, problem yeah, but, but is. No, no, that, that's a possibility, but that's like a, another feature. So yeah, yeah, don't, don't, like, don't like get that confused with that, what we support. That I mean, some just drivers the, would implement and some uh -huh. drivers don't implement. But, but I'm, I'm saying that we need a separate API for that. I mean, we need something else. It's not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, not going to so, so, so the existing yeah. snapshot capability, all it says is you can create snapshots from volumes, you can create volumes from snapshots, and the details of that are entirely undetermined. Right. And so, like, yeah, but the, that part is fine. I think the I thought you were trying to say is, uh, I think that the I think the challenge challenge right now is probably because there are two different uh, semantics that that I mentioned earlier, so you don't know. Uh, when you take a snapshot, you, in, it could be a local, it could be a durable one, you don't know, right? So then you actually have to depend on, you actually have to know what storage that is. So you know that what type you're getting, then you have to handle them differently, I guess. That's the, yeah. I can see that's yeah. one yeah. challenge. You, you um, have to have some some external knowledge from, from above that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the, what is going on. Um, but it, yeah. I, I think that's expected, right? Whoever uses the storage system, they need to understand the way exactly the API they're using. The, right, uh, I'm just saying, I, mean, I think he's, that's probably he was saying that it's not like tight. If it's tight, then that, then the snapshot will always be local, always always remote, it, something like that. Yeah, yeah. The, so, the, the so, but, but it's not possible because we are supporting, you know, so many different storage systems, they behave differently. So you can't say, oh, you're 
cloud provider, but you cannot just upload your snapshot. That's just not going to work you know, from the right. beginning, right? So that's the, yeah. So that's the challenge is because we are supporting a wide range of storage systems. So that's the challenge of designing a common API. So that's where we are, where we are today. Um, but, 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 but like, like you were saying about like a snapshot revert new feature, which would have a new. Yeah, that would be different. You, that you that would be like, uh, you could basically in have like a, an object uh -huh. bucket snapshot feature, uh -huh. which was, you know, drivers could assert or not assert that said that, that like, if they have this capability, then they're going to provide certain guarantees around how their snapshots are created. And then we could, we could design but that. The word is different. The word, that's a totally different feature that that can be added on top. So it can be. That, yeah, it, it has, that's a different one. So that's something that we actually have that in the beginning of the design. I think somewhere in the design doc, we have that same. I think I think it's it's mm -hmm. debatable whether that's even the right way to get to like uh, some sort of a common backup API. I mean, yes, it's something that can be yeah. done. I'm not we're not saying that uh, has to be part of the backup API, right? I'm just. It also it's not probably not every storage system can support that. Some can support, some cannot, right? It's an advanced feature. Um, so in, in that case, shouldn't we separate this local snapshot from durable snapshot? So here, if in this design, then. I mean, uh, it's the CSI driver, right? That is now doing mm -hmm. the backup as well to secondary storage. Uh, so but then this doesn't account for scenarios where a backup vendor may want to backup to a different storage. Uh, so right, the original so, plan was like, um, have well, a snapshot. We, so we are still right, right now we're just brainstorming. There's no, mm -hmm, there's no mm -hmm. proposal here, right? Because I think right. this came up in the last meeting. So I heard a lot of voices saying, oh, we need something. That's why. But then when we, uh, when Shang Tian and I talk about this, I'm like, oh, okay, it's not what we thought. Yeah, I, I, uh, this is just a, so because this came up a lot in last meeting, so I thought we can talk about this so and see what everybody was, is thinking, right? So this is, I think this is more like a, a CSI driver itself wants to support this. And then it has, want to have a way of uh, saying whether this is a, local or whether it has want to want this to be uploaded somewhere i think yeah um, and and nothing nothing stops any vendor from doing something proprietary like this today mm -hmm. yeah this the, is already there i yeah i actually already implemented i mean we did this in the previous project already uh so so this is a, you know something of course any driver can do already it's not it's just but I, to, but I, I think i think the goal of this group is to hopefully come up with something that can be supported by a plurality of of different implementations because because there's value in having a common way of doing things so that users don't have to have specific knowledge of the underlying storage and they can just say okay the api gives me the following guarantees and i'm going to mm -hmm. take advantage of that um, i i hope we can arrive at some some common implementation that's right i think the challenge is uh, the challenge is not all storage systems supports local snapshot and not all supports durable snapshots right so that i mean so when you're saying you just have this one interface that you know everything without any extra knowledge i mean that's probably hard just just look at those differences already hard uh unless maybe i don't know if uh, if if we can tell so if somehow let's say in the snapshot status if somehow we can tell if it's a local remote does that help i'm not sure if that help at all so uh in, in order to support uh, uh, a durable, I mean, local snapshot has to be supported first. And, I mean, the storage system would some, be Some storage it. system does not support local at all, right? A lot, lot of cloud uh, providers doesn't support local at all. It's so always been no. Um, so just kind of so, a couple of basic questions. One, in trying to understand the context of the discussion a little better. I think I missed last meeting. Um, so is the intent here of this discussion to come up with a way to change the the backing store for snapshots or come up with a way to specify a, a backup location for a snapshot so that it exists both as the native snapshot and a, a backup in some other repository. Uh, so I think there are some CSI drivers uh, actually has done this already. Uh, so Originally, right, this, let's say the CSI, the, the, the story system only supports local snapshot. Um, but now uh, with this, it actually passed something in the parameters so that the 
the snapshot actually will be uploaded somewhere. So this is something I know some drivers already do that, um, but I think that- my, my question is, is that, that, that the thing that, that, that gets uploaded, does, does that then become the backing store for the snapshot as represented through Kubernetes or is that just an alternate copy somewhere else? And uh, it still be, I think in that case, I, I think it also depends on your implementation, but I think mostly that will all, it's, it's just, it looks the same as a snapshot. It's just uh, now it's actually yeah. copied to another place. So maybe okay. Ben, you can, since you, no, copy, yeah. you already done that. I, I, I think uh, to answer your question, to the end user of the snapshot feature, it doesn't matter how underlying storage system handles that. To you, you just need the handle. And the handle is available for you to use to restore a wire. Right. That's mm -hmm. right. Uh, it's, it should be transparent to you. Sure. The no, user. I, I understand that. I'm, I'm just trying to understand sort of, you know, mapping in the context of, of like, if your volume is already in a cloud, uh, it is mm -hmm. a remote and durable. Uh, oh, um, they don't need it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, okay, you're talking about like, for example, are you right? So, is that already? uploaded is that uh, upload to that will be uploaded to object store right uh if that's the case yes i think this is not needed i think if it's already uploaded i think this is more for uh the storage systems that are traditionally only doing local snapshot not uploading uh, okay so i think i think now it's be i think it's because now this uh, our css spec supports different semantics i think there's a I think so people actually look at the different type of snapshot and uh, and trying to figure out what's the best user experience. So uh, especially, uh, you know, if a user are using multiple different type, right? So if users say, if the user starts to use a uh, cloud provider snapshot, then maybe this user only know this type. So then we'll always expect this to be durable. But then uh, when <laughs> user starts to, use the different uh, uh, sort of system which only has a local snapshot then then he or she would maybe surprised. So I think there is some uh, learning curve here as well. Um, it's just they're different. So uh, I think there are some sort of system that only support local snapshot are also looking at um, maybe it is possible to upload it somewhere. So making it durable. So that's, there is some advantage of doing that. But I think, of course, there are pros and cons, right? So I think- So uh, let, me, let me share some context or uh, uh, point of view here and see if that helps. It's just my opinion on understanding how storage works and backup vendor uses it. Uh -huh. Usually in majority of cases, whenever a storage system has exposed a primitive, the primitives are basically taking a snapshot which is hydration and restoring the snapshot rehydration. Uh, that is done in a very local space or storage area where the main storage is. Um, this is for various reasons, um, right? Um, at the same time, the process of durable or remote snapshot comes into picture uh, more from providing that enterprise guarantee or safeguarding your snapshots. If it is in local, it is possible that along with the data source, it can be compromised, deleted, misused, et cetera. So for durability safekeeping, the, the backup data snapshot from the local storage is replicated elsewhere in a remote offsite location. It's a secondary copy. Majority of cases, this is how it works. It might be a corner condition where some storage does not have local snapshot at all. It directly does it in remote. Maybe that's a very corner case. Secondly, going back to your third slide, usually, I would want to look at backup vendor, decide where the backup repository should be, how it should be, and where, how they are going to copy it after the storage system does the job. When I say storage system does the job, the CSI driver takes the snapshot and says, hey, I have successfully completed. Then the backup vendor takes that local snapshot and not do anything that he or she wants to do and push it there to the repository. If we look at this context, what I have shared, the separation of responsibility, if we apply that, I would want the story system not to worry about backup repository, where it should be copied, et cetera, because that job is done by a separate software company or tool called backup software. 
And the storage software can belong to company A, company B, backup software can belong to company XYZ. And, and XYZ decides how they will copy it to the secondary location, remote location, right? That's the separation of duty. You might also see some storage company or software also does copying of backup to secondary location. That is because such storage systems as part of storage software, they are selling value addition to their enterprise customers saying, hey, you know what? With our storage system, you get cross region or cross zonal replication of your data when you take snapshots, something of the sort, right? That's why some storage system also add, uh, uh, let's say a sub subset of backup capabilities in there inbuilt. But that said, they are just building a backup capability on top of their storage software. This is my industry point of view on how customers use backup versus storage. And in my point of view, if you would want to consider the backup responsibility need not be decided by the storage in the CSI driver. So, so Karushna, the, the points you raised were the same ones I was going to raise. I, I think we have to look at it from the perspective of like, what, what are the users of Kubernetes not getting today? Um, and, and one thing is, it would be nice to know for a given snapshot, like, is it local or is it remote? So that if you're trying to implement backups on top of snapshots, you know if, if you have any work to do or not, right? Because if, if the snapshot's already remote, maybe there's no more work to do. But if it's local, then yeah, you, to make it durable, you would want to copy it somewhere. Uh, and then the other half of uh, what he mentioned is is if if the storage system does have the ability to like, push the snapshot to some object store somewhere, like you might want to be able to control which one, um, you know, because object stores are, are are many and plentiful. Um, so. Ah, Ben, if you meant that, then, then uh, there was a proposal to add a status field, one status field in the snapshot content interface mm -hmm. to say that. Uh, yeah, for some, for some reason it was killed because it needs CSI support. Basically, the CSI driver implementers needs to re return that field back to yes. the quarter. Yeah, yeah, uh, it would have to be uh, a I'm new sorry, CSI can you, can you repeat that, Shanti? I think I missed that. What, what field is that? Is the field telling whether this snapshot is local versus remote? Oh yeah, I think we were we were just talking about that, right? So uh, what was no, the, no, no. did we it, it, say we don't want that? What? I, it, I that's not, it, would, it would require a CSI spec change and a new capability and a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that, that's not, but, but, okay, that's but, secondary, but, but, but it, I mean, what was the reason our, that we don't want to do that? Just, I mean, in addition to because, the new field. Sorry, it's because all the CSI driver providers need to support that field. And we don't know the default behavior. Oh, oh, you're saying that the four uh, the ones normally that, the when I add a new field, well, normally when you add a new field, then it has to be a pointer, right? So you don't have to set that, then you don't know. Right? Yeah, you, you could have an unknown value. That's, that's have... actually, that's, this is actually possible. <laughs> I think that's, but I mean, is there, what, is there a value? I was just, I don't know if there's a value actually. I was just thinking about well, it. If, I, I, we know I think, if I think we're, a... we're putting our finger on a gap, uh, on a, this is a gap in the existing design that because the existing design is so flexible, you don't give any information to the higher level user about what's going on when a snapshot is taken. And that's- No, but that's I mean, I'm just saying that <laughs> there is a possibility of adding that field, but, but how does that help? I mean, does, uh, because- it helps, it helps backup vendor or users understand whether there's anything left to be done. If they are doing, if the but then I think they still need to know which, which storage system that is, right? So Kana, do, do you have any, uh, yeah, so this, I mean, the field itself doesn't help, right? I mean, this uh, field yeah. is more for like if the storage, like uh, what Krishna said, if you want to add the storage vendor wants to add more value and provide an upload capability as well. Because then backup, backup software still does not know, like, because it depends on uh, which storage system it is. It has to do things differently, depending, I mean, based on that flag, I guess. I mean, well, yeah, yeah, so I if we responsibility anyways i i don't uh -huh. i can't so, imagine a place where backup window don't understand the storage system and wants to do the backup right but i mean th does this additional information help i guess that's my question if it doesn't help then why do we need to provide it right we're talking about like, whether does it yeah, even we, well, add any value about. by adding this status field 
it looks like the answer is no. It doesn't help everyone, but it helps the people who are concerned about their data durability, right? As like a user, you mean end user or, or check this? Looks like a backup vendor probably don't need this. It's like they can't really do anything based on this flag. So end user will check this flag, you mean? But that's in the content. If a, if a end user check it, then it has to be in the only snapshot itself, right? I would just, I don't know. This if, if your high level goal is to make sure that all of your data is backed up to durable storage, you could just go take a bunch of snapshots and for the ones that were local, back them up and for the ones that were already in the cloud, not back them up. You but but you're, you're talking like about what? You mean talking about the user do this uh, manually? What What do you mean? It's just like- You could have some data protection Normally you would software. use the software, right? The software then, this, I'm just saying, that's what I was asking is that then backup vendor should, should figure that out. It's not going to ask user input for that, right? It should already figure out like what, what this is and knows well, what the, to do. There, there's a question of whether we can have the separation of concerns that Karishna was was pushing was was pointing out. You know, can we have, you know, a, a backup software that can work with arbitrary storage implementations, and can we have, you know, storage implementations that can work with arbitrary backup software? It's like if the answer is no, then what are we doing? <laughs> there's no point in having this working group if the answer is no. I, I think the answer is yes. We can have a separation of concerns, but that requires defining something in the middle, which is the, the common language. <laughs> if I try and that. understand, if I try and understand what Ben is saying, uh, he, here is my point of view. Ben, you can correct me if I'm wrong. We are taking snapshots. These snapshots are supposed to be, in a way, backups for 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 durability reason or whatever, right? There needs to be a way to describe uh, the readiness of the backups and more describe about the backup in itself. Let's say one of the backup last Sunday backup is uh, a Sunday recovery point, right? That recovery point should be descriptive in nature. Where is it located? Is it located in local store? Is it located in a remote storage? Uh, is the remote copy completed or not? I think uh, the description of the recovery point, a past backup is what we are trying to arrive at here. Is that a right way to understand Ben? But, but that's for backup, right? But we are, yeah. right now we are actually just talking about the so, snapshot. So, I mean, so it, it's, it was, the question was asked, right? So what is it that we are missing in Kubernetes that's available say for other um, um, kind of platforms? Um, so uh, if you see here, so I'll just take like on-prem, like a VMware vendor, right? So you have a snapshot functionality and then there is another functionality to read the snapshot. And then um, in addition to that, there is uh, optimizations around um, taking incremental snapshots right, with JSCBT. So that is what is missing here where we CSI spec gives us the, there is no data path functionality there, right? Where you can actually read snapshots or add CBT functionality and read only the change blocks. That is what we are missing. Um, so what if the storage vendor wants to upload? I mean, that's already there, right? I mean, what you were saying, the parameters is there those, mm -hmm. um, but what we are missing is those constructs. Okay, so you think that we actually really does not have to worry too, about, too much about this, but instead we should really- I, I mean, it depends on what the CBT, goal of this <laughs> group CBT is. is actually, mean, yeah, CBT is actually, that's, yeah, that's uh, is, is a fun here. To, yeah, we actually, we do have that one, right? But it's, I think we have to have not to come back to that for, for quite some time. Um, okay, so maybe, yeah. maybe we should, uh, then maybe we should maybe we should wrap up this one. This is just to, because we there were some discussions in the last uh, in the last meeting, so uh, that's why this, uh, this topic is here. So we don't have to we don't have to uh, continue talking about this one. I think maybe we can move to the move to the next because even this one we, when we talk about here, this is it's you know this is under parameters then. Uh, vendor can already do that. We are not really, you know, we can't stop vendor from doing anything. This is opaque, right? So that's the purpose is, and vendor can uh, interpret those. So that's already there. Uh, and then since we're not going to propose any first class field, then I think we don't really have to uh, talk about this, I think, or unless if somebody else, uh, anyone else want to uh, continue with, the, with this topic. Otherwise, we can maybe move on to the next. Yeah, if there's any think? more uh, discussions uh, 
put it, uh, Shin, can we maybe create a, a Slack channel for that? And then whoever wants to. Well, the, we, uh, we have that either for anyone who group Slack channel, yeah. that's not the, create another one. Yeah, that correct, one yeah, we can we can we can chat there if anyone has uh, uh, questions. Want to talk, continue with this topic? Yeah, we can wrap this up. Yeah, I think this uh, the only reason we brought this up is this came up in the last meeting, so exactly. uh, maybe there was some confusion. So I think looks like at least right now, I mean, we don't really have to keep talking about this. Okay, so I'll just stop sharing. Maybe go back to Shantian. You want to continue? Yep. I yeah, I don't have too much. Uh, the uh, as I mentioned, the white paper. Thank you all for the hard working. The uh, white paper, uh, at least I personally went through. I think we have fairly good amount of data over there, and most of them are really well written. So Shin and I, is my um, or the idea is to kind of you know uh, take this one step further uh, instead of waiting on some of the sections to be done, we just publish a first version. So uh, likely for those who own a particular session or have worked on a particular session, you will hear from us too very soon with, with regarding to that. And then once we've done uh, that path uh, by the July end, we're looking to publish into the community. And before we do that, of course, we will you know sit with sit together with this group and uh, go through the mainstreams. We're not going to go through in very detail, but at least the outlines, et cetera, et cetera, to see, uh, to collect one final rounds of uh, feedback. Uh, if everything looks good, then we are looking to publish that document. Questions? OK, uh, we got uh, 18 minutes left. Any open this or any, anyone want to discuss anything? Uh, so go. can we just uh, maybe go back to the uh, oh the slides yeah the no the 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 agenda doc uh I, I can I think I want to check and see if uh, Fang has a tiny update because last time uh oh, yeah. oh, talk about yeah. that the, the the CVT section uh I don't know if uh, Fang have you got the chance to update yeah I I have update the uh, I look into the um, the um, map bit, uh, and I update the document with a possible flow that you know match with the uh, snap bit. Uh, I have not looked at the rustic yet, uh, so I, uh, I but I think the, the 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 example that we have for the um, CBT uh, it's it's the the workflow that. Uh, cover CVT it should be able to uh, cover the uh, file system and, uh, as well because we, it is the same it is just very much the same way uh, the only difference is when we backing up with that, whether we back up uh, block by block or, or file by file so that is uh, the difference there uh, but I again I have to look into the rest to uh, to know the detail Okay. Okay. Thank you, Huang. Uh, again, Xin and I will be reaching out to uh, those who work in on specific sections and do a final pass uh, very shortly. Okay. Any other questions? Going once, twice. All right. Everybody, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.